ISF filing. Rules for environment regulated goods. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing ISF filing. Rules for environment regulated goods. When it comes to filing the importer security filing, ISF, for goods that are subject to environmental protection regulations, there are certain restrictions that need to be considered. These restrictions are in place to ensure compliance with the laws and regulations that govern the importation and transportation of environmentally sensitive goods. In this video, we will explore the restrictions on filing the ISF for goods subject to environmental protection regulations and understand why it is essential for customs brokerage. First and foremost, it is crucial to understand that customs brokerage is an integral part of the importation process. Customs brokers are licensed professionals who specialize in navigating the complex world of international trade and customs regulations. They serve as a bridge between importers and government authorities, ensuring that all necessary paperwork and legal requirements are met. Now, let's dive into the restrictions on filing the ISF for goods subject to environmental protection regulations. One of the most significant restrictions is the requirement to provide detailed information about the goods being imported. This includes the nature of the goods, their composition, and any potential environmental risks they may pose. The purpose of this requirement is to enable customs authorities to assess the import's compliance with environmental protection regulations. Another important restriction is the need to obtain any necessary permits or certifications for the importation of environmentally sensitive goods. For example, if you're importing chemicals that are regulated under environmental protection laws, you may need to obtain permits or certifications from the relevant authorities. This information must be included in the ISF filing to demonstrate compliance. Furthermore, it is worth noting that the filing of the ISF for goods subject to environmental protection regulations might trigger additional inspections or scrutiny by customs authorities. This is done to ensure that the goods comply with all relevant environmental protection laws and regulations. These inspections may involve checking the packaging, labeling, and documentation of the goods to confirm their compliance. In addition to these restrictions, it is essential to keep in mind that failure to comply with environmental protection regulations can result in severe consequences. These consequences may include fines, penalties, or even the detention of goods. By filing the ISF and meeting all the necessary requirements, importers can demonstrate their commitment to compliance and avoid these potential consequences. To summarize, when it comes to filing the ISF for goods subject to environmental protection regulations, there are restrictions in place to ensure compliance with the laws and regulations governing the importation of environmentally sensitive goods. These restrictions include providing detailed information about the goods, obtaining necessary permits or certifications, and potentially undergoing additional inspections. By working with a customs broker and understanding these restrictions, importers can navigate the complexities of importing environmentally sensitive goods effectively. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found this information about restrictions on filing the ISF for goods subject to environmental protection regulations helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more informative videos on customs brokerage and international trade. See the disclaimer note posted below.